Hey guys, Shudders here, welcome back to another Gears of War Ultimate Edition gameplay video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the exclusive weapon skin known as Lit. So as you can see quickly, just before we jump into some awesome gameplayness, it's like a bluey colour. I'm actually colourblind, so it may not be the proper colour, but you can see it has like a sunshine sun right there, and at the end of the shotgun, to pretty much describe, you know, this is Lit. It's a phrase from the Gears of War community that's recently come about, and there's a weapon skin named after it, so... Looks like we're playing some team deathmatch on Clock Tower. Let's see how it goes. So as usual, usual like what I do with these. This guy's gonna get headshotted. Okay, maybe not. Don't run away, Jace. Ah, oh, and we get our first kill robbed. Man, I love this game. Uh, it's all good, man. It happens. People. Do things by mistake. It's Carmine trying to lance me. So we're going to stick using the lance and Nasha only. Because they're the only weapons we have the, the weapon skins for. So we're not going to be picking up like sniper or power weapons or anything like that. Nice. Yo, Jace. I swear there's another guy here somewhere. He's still in spawn. The spawn killing may begin. Okay, I actually stole a kill back from that guy earlier, so he's chainsawing me. It's all good, dude. Remember, you take one, you get one stolen. Even though it was a mistake, but it's alright. So yeah, I'm actually playing as the Savage Grenadier Elite character this game because... I like to try. I want to try and use like some of the characters that people don't have, just to change things up. Yeah, right. We're not, we're not going to be picking up that sniper, even though I want to. These games are going extremely quick. That's the only thing about team deathmatch. It's very, very limited in terms of like how many kills you can get per game. Where are you running to? Is he going to go into spawn? Really? Oh no, you're not doing it today. Let's get a chainsaw on. Snipe! Even though you got your weapon, you're not doing it. You're not running into sn you're not running into spawn. Ready for the kludge. Not gonna happen. Looks like our team are gonna take out this next guy. So we'll probably play two games. Because these go extremely quickly, you know, and there's only a certain amount of kills you can get. Nice, there you go. Get the spot in for the extra points. So I'm probably going to talk about at the end of this video on how everybody can get the lit weapon skin. Uh, luckily, I actually got early access from the coalition. Huge shout out to Jack Felling. She hit me up uh, with a sort of promotion for you guys just to showcase the weapon skin to you. So let's go. Round number two. Team deathmatch goes very, very quickly, man. Especially on some of the maps on this game. Like Raven Down, Clock Tower... Some maps are just very... Okay, let's, let, let me let me jump back over because I think he's going to throw them nades. There you go. That's one. you got another one to come. Someone's got a bowl top. There you go. See you later, Carmine. Bye-bye. This guy's got a sniper. Oh, he's trying to melee. Not today. Oh, he's actually hit me with a sniper. No, 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 no. Oh, he's rolling into me. Nice. There you go. This game's going extremely well. I like it. Usually for team deathmatch, it's a bit of like a... You might do well, you might not, but... Oh, no. Oh, that was... Outplayed. Why are people quitting, man? I don't understand. But I just got outplayed right there. The wall bounce got me. I was going to do it, but I just completely forgot. Not going to lie. Oh, he's got sniper again. He loves it. Somebody hit grenades again. Okay, there you go. He's down. Yo, getting shot from top side of the map. 
Hopefully nobody's spawning in. No! Let me get my health back quickly. Team Deathmatch is like, like such a slow game mode compared to other game modes that I play. Oh no, come on. Smash the X button, let's go. He's actually facing me. I'm facing the wall. Whoa, no, we're getting flanked. Oh man, TDM. <laughs> it's a questionable game mode for sure. Like, I don't usually play it. I don't really think like it fits the Gears of War gameplay style. But, you know, we gotta, we got to try something different every here and there. It's very, very campy, just like what you would expect Team Deathmatch to be. Like, look at this. All right, we're not gonna, I'm not going to push you. You're just going to come get me if you want to get kills. Sniper's here. Uh, I'm getting pushed by the whole team. Here you go, let me get him. Nice. It seems it seems like they've still got sniper. Teammates are literally just going in. Let's see if grenades are up. Okay, grenades aren't up either. Just playing with like Lancer and Nasha only is extremely hard. Ah, oh, dude. If I can get grenades, okay, here we go. These will help out slightly. Uh, someone's gone to. They've gone to boom shot, really. Screw it, we're pushing the other guys. Here you go, take him out. Let's quickly get high side of the map. Ah, uh, teammates down, man. 1v3, really. And he's got boom and sniper. No! What? I didn't even think you could jump over that cover. Oh, I'm getting hit by every weapon. Every weapon. Come on. Here we go. I've literally got no shotgun ammo. <laughs> Ego, yes! We won the game, thank goodness for that. That was a, literally a little bit of a challenge, not gonna lie. My heart is pumping, always in the moments. Like, I've played Gears of War for nine years, and my heart still gets racing when you get into them clutch moments. That's why Gears is the best. But like I said, we're going to be playing two games for two different gameplays just to show you guys like as much as possible of the new exclusive weapon skin known as Lit. If you do want to find out how to get it, I'll be telling you at the end of game number two. I shall see you in a second with the power of editing and magic. Let's jump into game number two. So here we are jumping into game number two. I thought I'd play as a flashable drone this game. Still using, of course, the weapon skins Lit. Playing some Mansion. Two good maps in a row. Two classic maps. It's like we got three going inside, we got nades, and we got boom shot. Right, everybody's gone inside, it looks like. Well, I saw three people. I don't know about the other guys. Let's quickly have a look. Right, we got a guy at spawn. Please don't take him. He's going to shoot the boom shot. He's going to shoot the boom shot. Okay, there you go. He's, he's down in the melee. Oh, no. Nice, there you go. Got him. That was a little bit lucky. Like that could have had anything could have happened right there. 
Go teammate, go teammate, go, go, go teammate, go. Oh man, I wall bounce into him. It's the only thing about wall bouncing on this game, like I think it's the first time ever in the Gears of War franchise. I don't know what causes it or what happened, but like you try to wall bounce into cover or just take cover anyway, and if a player is standing in front of you, like even an enemy, it just causes the the game to like I don't know, it just causes your character to take cover on the player and not the actual cover that you want to. Which like just basically gives you a death, you know. Oh nice. Imagine if that was a Lancer headshot. Would have been sweet. Alright, that guy's down over there. Got Marcus here. Woo, baby, nice. Headshots everywhere. Let's pick up some nades. Spawns have flipped. There you go, take him out. See you later, Jace. Is there a guy standing at spawn? No, he's playing. Right, everybody's playing. I think everybody else went inside. We've still got Jace respawning into the game. And they had Boom Shot. What? When did they get Boom? Alright, here we go. We're behind Marcus, I think it is. I swear they all went in that way. I think he might be waiting at the wall for me. No? Okay, they've got boom shot as well, man. There you go, get the kill, nicely done, cross them out. I swear somebody grabbed boom shot unless the guy is already dead. Like, no idea why he didn't use it, but it's all good. Better for us, you know. Okay, last guy's down. There you go. Round number one over and done with. Let's go. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the lit weapon skins. Like, I don't think they're the best exclusive weapon skins. Obviously, they look cool because they are exclusive, but not the best that I've seen so far, you know. They're probably on the same... I don't know. The bodied ones are pretty good. Probably the same level as these. Like, I think the Neptune looked the best out of the... The weapon skins I own, you know, and if you want to see gameplay videos of all of the other exclusive weapon skins that I've done so far uh, They will be on the channel. I've done. This is the third one so far, so There you go, take him out There's a guy at boom shot. Let's help him out There you go. Come on teammate, pick up the boom shot There you go As long as we've got Control of the boom shot. I'm fine. <laughs> Shoot some random boom shot through the smoke. Yeah, go for it, teammate. You never know. You might as well try your luck. No! Oh! Out of that cover. No! Oh, come on, man. That's such a painful death. Just wrong timing. I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Damn it, dude. Oh, there you go. Teammate getting taken out with a boom. I dropped one nade as well, so they might use it. I don't know. Team Deathmatch just feels so, like, weird to play in Gears of War. Like, everything just is slowed down. Everything just goes out of, like, your mind when it comes to, like, playing. Like, you get you just got people constantly coming behind you. Spawn killing. Everything, you know, everything. There you go. Take out the other Marcus. He's got spawn protection. Oh, luckily it went away, but I think the teammate got taken out because of spawn protection. Alright, there's a few more people get down, gone. Got three lives left. We got four, they got three. Oh, no. That 
That was a bit close. Luckily, I didn't die right there. Oh no, they spawned behind us. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, man. Oh, luckily we pulled off a little crazy two-piece right there. I had to do it because he did have spawn protection. There you go, taking him out. That's such a crazy spawn. All right, spawns a flip. Nice. Like, I think the melee is the only thing you can do when they have spawn protection. I think it does, still doesn't do damage, but it stuns them. But luckily we pulled off some damage there. There you go, take him out. There's one guy left before we finish up this match. And he's just got a kill over over there. Probably outside. Let's quickly go hunt him down. He's probably near Sanchez in a 1v. Uh, he's going to get killed. So there you go, game finished. So like I said, I'll let you know how to get this weapon skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay video. But if you're interested in getting the weapon skin, this is what it reads on the official Gears of War forums or website. We don't know exactly how the Coalition are going to do it, so if anybody is to ask, I have no idea how they are actually going to do it. But it says, and it reads, All viewers will have the chance to get the exclusive lit weapon skin only available at the Gears of War ESL Season 1 Final live stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Gears of War. I've done a video on my channel talking about the possibility of Gears 4 being at the event. I've talked about the event. If you want to find out about the actual Gears of War event that's happening, be sure to go watch that video. It'll probably be linked on screen, but it says you have to watch the live stream for instructions on how to, on how all viewers can claim this digital weapon skin from Gears of War Ultimate Edition just if you're tuning in. So to me, it sounds like how all, all viewers, so everybody, can claim this weapon skin for just joining the live stream and watching. So it sounds like everybody's going to be able to get it. I have no idea how the coalition are going to do it. So that's all I know and that's all I can tell you. And hopefully that helps you out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching. And as always, I shall see you on the next one. <laughs>